Margaret Garrett. Reg Garrett. Current we live in Currents Farm Road. Road, down in Bocking. Oh, my name's, this is Jeanette Joinson, and I live in Bocking. We've been there almost two years. I'm Mrs Jennifer Gale, and I've lived in Braintree for 44 years. My name's Trevor, I've lived in Braintree for the last, well, 10, 11 months. Um, I'm called Chelsea Corp and I live in Braintree and I'm 12 years old. Um, I'm Rosie Chamberlain and I live in Braintree and I'm 12 years old as well. My name's Sharon Stevens and I live in Sybil Headingham and I come to Braintree um, for lots of different reasons. I mean there's some good clothes shops, um, card shops which is what I've come for today. Um, yes, you can find practically anything you want here. Well it could do with a bigger store other than the co-op something like Marks and Spencers or BHS, something like that, uh, to bring people in from outside as well. Yeah, but I think, um, I, I do like Braintree Town Centre actually, I think not got a bad choice of shops, I do like it. I would come here to do some shopping because I can walk into town, which is great, and come to buy birthday presents for the kids' birthdays are going to some parties. So. I like town it's okay but the last couple of years due to the recession things have we've seen shops come and go businesses uh, fail so you know and it's, it's a, a real uphill struggle as well so different things you can do yeah. loads of different shops it's like a very wide variety of shops to go to and stuff so it's a pretty nice place to come from. I don't like the idea very much no actually. I don't think no. a hotel in the middle of town I think they're no. best out of town well, it's a bit difficult because it's a bit disjointed, the areas. I think this is quite nice, the George Yard, and you've got the Quadrant, which is, is like a department store now, which is really nice. But then you've got the uh, street that Town Row's in, which I can't remember the name of, but that's all a bit disjointed because shops are uh, not together, you know. But you, have to, you forget to go down there, really, because it's not all integrated. More shops in the Manor Street area, you're, you're looking at where the uh, bus park is now, yes. Yes, but not a hotel. I think a hotel might be a little bit overpowering, personally. You know? I like the fact that there's still a few independent shops, like the arts and crafts shop and things. Um, I could do with um, somewhere that just sells milk, not just supermarkets. So like a nice grocery shop, that kind of thing. Fruit and veg, and a good butcher's. I would like a good butcher's. The, the brilliant thing is when you do like the European market all the way through here and all the way through town. I think that's brilliant because the amount of people I've noticed who have come from out of town to come to it. I mean, I've got friends who live in Chelmsford and Colchester and they actually travel down to come and do it. And what a brilliant idea. And it actually opens the eyes of the public to sort of look at something which is much nicer. I do like the market area. Um, it seems a bit small. They could do some more, um, some more stalls there. Perhaps a wider range of things would be nice. Um, yeah, maybe so. Maybe maybe um, Marks and Spencer's back, and I think maybe less some phone shops and takeaway shops because it's just too many. Like, yeah, like proper restaurants so that you can come here for like with your family and have fun. I think trying to get an amount of shops over that way, brilliant, absolute sterling idea because that end of town is. It's a bit shabby, and so brilliant idea for doing it. Um, I would like to see how the plans for the parking would work and how much, how much parking you're going to be able to get in. We should bring back our butchers, our bakers and such like, because that gets people talking to each other. The um, communication with people is, is terrible. You know, no one talks to anybody anymore. You go in, you go out. A hotel, uh, I didn't know there was any <laughs> plans for any hotel at Manor Street, to be honest, no. Um, I can't really see the need of one being there, but everyone's, <laughs> everyone's got different opinions, I suppose. A hotel in Braintree, wow. Um, yeah, I mean, if it brings more people to the area, then I, then I guess that's got to be a good thing, yeah. yeah.